Hello guys, welcome back to my channel, Brian Laferidian. So today, I picked up something I saw. I've seen it at Target, Walmart, CVS, and Walgreens. And it is this right here. So this is called Pure by Gillette. It's a, a soothing shave cream with aloe. And it says right there, 0%, so it's free from alcohol, dyes, parabens, and sulfates. So I'm gonna try this out and see if it's a viable option for shaving, for wet shaving, if this is a lathering cream. Um, hopefully it's not, um, it's not one of those creams like the Cremos. Hope this thing lathers up. So I'm gonna find out. So I got about two days worth of growth on my face. And with that shave, that said, I'm gonna be using my Razor Rock Game Changer with the 0 0.68 bottom plate. Um, really popular razor. It's quickly becoming really popular. You can't really find it on Italian Barber very much in stock. So I love this razor and it's out of stock for, for a very good reason. So I'm using this razor and I've got a number, I got a feather high stainless blade loaded up into the razor and this will be the second use of the blade and this has quickly become one of my favorite blades to use. I used to be a little bit afraid of feathers because of how sharp they are but I'm finding out I love sharp. I'm, I actually do well with sharp blades, so I'm going to use this blade. And I'm going to be using my Razor Rock 400 shaving brush with the Black Norn synthetic knot. So this is a 24 millimeter knot. Pretty soft, pretty awesome for lathering shave creams up. So I'm using this brush for that shave. So guys, let me go ahead and wash my face and get ready for this shave and this review. And I'll be right back. All right, guys, I'm back. Just washed my face, got my face prepped. So I'm gonna be doing a face lather with this cream. And I normally bowl lather with shaving creams. I have my Doug Smith uh, shaving bowl just in case. So I'll probably, actually I'll probably do both. I'll probably do a face lather and a bowl lather. But let me go ahead and um, put a little bit of the cream into this brush right here. About a little bit, probably about, about a dime size of amount of cream. Go ahead and start lathering here. All right. Right off the bat, making great lather so far, so. So definitely, definitely making great leather. Making a mess also, but. <laughs> definitely making great leather so far for a store-bought cream, locally store-bought cream. All right, so we definitely know it lathers on your face really well. You guys can see that lather right there, so. Definitely not Cremo. <laughs> this is lathering. This stuff lathers up pretty well. Kind of reminds me of Kiss My Face lather um, cream that you see at Whole Foods and health food stores. All right, but the ingredient list the ingredient list is pretty simple. There's not a lot of chemicals in this creams, which is pretty nice, which I like. I'll leave us. A list of the ingredients in the description below or if I can do a screenshot I'll do that right for you right now so you're you can use use your hands or a brush for this cream so so far it's working great with a brush all right that's enough lather right there Got it all over my face, all over my shirt, everywhere. So definitely know, you definitely know it lathers up really well. So let's try the shave. All right guys, let's do that shave real quick right with this um, Game Changer 0.68. And second use of this 
Feather High Ceilings Blade. So let's go ahead and do that first pass. All right, so, so far, a little bit slick. So in the packaging it says, aloe is added for slickness and for the glide of the razor. So, so far, Pretty easy glide with my, with my game changer razor, so. All right, so definitely, definitely nice slickness here. And this feather blade is performing awesome with this game changer knot. I'm sorry, game changer uh, razor. <laughs> Speaking of game changer, I probably could use my game changer brush for this shave since it might match the razor, but anyway, so not bad. Pretty good shave, pretty good first pass, no nicks. Cream has plenty good, plenty of good cushion and, and sleekness. Let me go ahead and rinse my face, guys, for a second pass. I'll be right back. All right, guys, I'm back for my second pass. So first pass was pretty, pretty nice. Very, very smooth uh, cream. And pretty, pretty close to um, Perazzo cream, I would say, in performance. Probably more c close to uh, Kiss My Face. So that's pretty similar to what this cream would be. But definitely, definitely nice slickness and glide. And I'm going to try to lather this in my brush to let, see, let you guys see what kind of lather I can produce from this. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and put some. So I'm going to do a little face lather and a little brush lather. Actually, let's do this here. I'm gonna add a little bit of water to this real quick. So, very simple ingredients. I love this uh, cream so far. So I don't know if you can see that, but there's a little bit of nice lather in there. Well, let me go ahead and lather my face, take some of this lather off here. Actually put it on the face here. So one thing about this cream, it has menthol, a little bit of menthol and peppermint oil in it. So it's supposed to give you a, a little bit of a cooling effect. And I don't really feel that. I feel it feels nice, but I don't feel the menthol like I would feel with the Parazzo Green. But I think it feels a little bit cooling compared to my Taylor Old Bond Street. But not over, not a lot of cooling that I would definitely take notice of, you know. But it, just feels, it does feel nice though. All right, so that's a nice lather. Let me go ahead and do that across the grain pass right here. So I probably won't do a three pass shade, but I'll do a quick across the grain and maybe a touch up with the uh, game changer across the grain, a few, you know, across you know, against the grain of probably on my, my chin right there, or places where I normally would need that. All right. 
Yeah, I got some cream on my on my finger, so it is pretty slick. So I gotta be careful with this razor. Even though I have good knurling on there, the knurling that's right there. This is the um, the radio knob. So, but even the cream, even with this knurling there, the cream on my fingers, it is pretty slick. So I can definitely feel the slickness of the cream. So definitely, definitely be careful when you're shaving with this cream. If you're using a slick razor without much knurling, because you can definitely slip and cut yourself. So rinse off your fingers before, if you get any cream on your fingers when you're holding your razor. All right, so, so far, yeah, really, really nice glide. Nice, nice slickness. So the scent is very light. I would say very, very, a nice, soft, subtle, clean scent. Kind of like a cologne scent. So in my opinion, the scent of this stuff, of the pure cream, smells very, very similar to the Aquavella Sensitive 501 Aftershave Balm. So the scent would probably pair, the cream would probably pair nicely with this Aftershave Balm because the scent is very close. Because I can, let's take, take a look. Yeah, so definitely the scent really matches up with that. Just a subtle scent. Very, very subtle, but it's a nice, fresh, clean scent, for sure. All right, let me go ahead and rinse, go underneath the gills right here. So I would say the scent strength is probably about two, maybe, on a scale from zero to 10. Very, very mild. It's a pleasant scent, so it's not. It definitely doesn't smell bad. It smells pretty nice. All right, guys, that's the second pass. Let me go ahead and rinse my face, and I'll be right back. All right, guys, I'm back. So I'm gonna, uh, you know what? I'm gonna do a third. I'm gonna do a third pass. So I'll do a third pass against the green. So you can guys see how much lather is left on the brush for my initial dime size mount I put on the brush. So as you can tell, there's plenty of lather still left on the brush. All right, so I am, actually I'm very, very surprised how much lather this cream makes. Very pleasantly surprised. So this is definitely a great option. If you want to shave cream, A shave cream pretty fast. You don't want to wait to order anything online. You want to go to the store and buy a shave cream off the shelf. This is a very good option. So hopefully with Gillette making shave creams like this, hopefully they'll, they'll start making um, safety razors again. Hopefully bring back the old safety razors. Maybe a new design. That would be awesome. But I doubt they will do that because they want to make too much. That would they would make they make too much money on cards, so they wouldn't bring back safety razors. At least, in, at least not anytime soon. All right, so that's a good leather. That's a good leather right there. Let me go ahead and do that third pass here. Gets the grain. Yeah, I'm definitely impressed with the slickness of this cream and the lather, so. I don't think, I, I don't think Gillette makes an aftershave that matches this shade cream, at least not a pure after shave splash or, or shave balm yet. But that would be pretty nice if they did that too.
All right, guys, let me do that underneath the gills one more time here. So definitely excellent with the brush. And this is a great combo. Feather with the Game Changer, nice combo. All right, I go underneath the nose right here. All right, guys, you know what? Let me, I'm gonna do one more thing. Let me just do one more thing here. I'm gonna take this and do a face lather to see how much lather I can do with just my hands. So I'm gonna do a little bit of my hands here. I'm not gonna shave it off, so I'm gonna see how much lather I can get with just doing a face lather with, with your with your hands. So as you can tell, definitely not as good as good with the hands as you would get with the brush. But I can definitely feel a slickness though. Definitely a lot of slickness still. Definitely feel that slickness. Yeah, definitely a lot of sleekness from this cream. All right, let's go ahead and stick them. See if I can face lather with my fingers. <laughs> All right, so you definitely get, you definitely could face lather with uh, with your fingers without using a brush, but I would definitely recommend a brush. Brush would be a lot better for lathering this cream. But if you're in a pinch and don't have a brush, at least you know your hands can work. All right guys, let me go ahead and rinse my face off. I'm not gonna shave this off, I'm gonna rinse it off. But I'll rinse my face off, be back for the post shave, and I'll be right back. All right guys, back for my post shave. So I'm gonna follow up that cream, that shave with this stuff right here, which is called Alco Velva Sensitive 5 and one Aftershave Balm. So this smells very similar to that pure cream of Gillette. So I'm gonna be using this. Let me go ahead and put that, put some on my hand here. All right. Yeah, it smells very similar. I wouldn't say dead on, but definitely a nice clean scent. To me, it smells very similar to the Pure Cream by Gillette. All right, so that was a nice shave. So anyway, my recap was I used the Pure Gillette Cream, Soothing Cream with Aloe. So my impressions is great. Actually, actually I was surprised on how well this cream was. So definitely a nice lather, definitely a nice slickness and glide. So I would say this is a great, great, cream to pick up from your local store if you don't have anything to use or just want to try something in a pinch traveling wise or don't have any cream you want, you're in a, out traveling you want to pick up something in a pinch or just generally wet shaving this is not a bad cream i would put this on, on par with the i would say probably with the kiss my face very similar and it is made by i just noticed it's made by Proctor and gamble so I'm kind of wondering if art of shaving had a hand in making this cream because it's actually thinking about it is shaves pretty similar to our shaving cream so anyway great cream so this one get definitely gets a thumbs up from me great stuff razor i used was my game changer with a 0 0.68 bottom plate second use of the feather high stainless blade and use my razor rock 400 brush with the Nor Black Synthetic Knot. Great, great brush for for loading with creams. I love the handle, it's a metal handle, so it has nice weight, nice gripping here. So anyway guys, let me know what you think about the cream. Uh, leave some comments below if you've used it before, but in my opinion, definitely definitely demands a, definitely um, gets a thumbs up for me for performance wise. Maybe not for scent, but definitely performance wise, thumbs up for me. But anyway, guys, thanks for thanks for watching my channel. Thanks for watching this video. Uh, hit like, subscribe if you like this video, and I will see you guys soon. You guys have a nice week. Take care.